Hey everybody, welcome to Sako's Tech Spot. I was given this laptop battery from a friend of mine, John, who happens to have a YouTube channel, JB Talks. Link to his channel in the description if you want to check him out. Now from past experience, I know that a lot of portable battery packs have 18650 batteries in them, and those are just standard rechargeable lithium ion batteries that you find in a lot of products. In this case, it's from a Sony laptop, and I scrapped it for parts. I also wanted the batteries hiding in here, so I can do some projects with them, like make a power supply for LED lights, or make another battery bank for my smartphone. Or I can save these for when my current batteries die, that way I can replace them instead of having to buy a new battery pack. A disclaimer, do this at your own risk, I'm not responsible if you hurt yourself taking apart battery packs. Anyways, as you can see, the output is 11.1 volts, and it has a capacity of 3500 mAh. It looks kind of obvious how they would be laid out, so nothing too out of the ordinary here. It looks like only clips are holding this together. It came apart pretty easily. And just as I thought, 18650s throughout the entire thing. Six of them to be exact. So let's crack into it with this crab leg cracker, courtesy of Joe's Crab Shack. They were stuck in there real good, so I had to get a little rough with it. Here's a close up of the protection circuit PCB for anyone that wants to take a closer look at the components. Check out Big Clive's channel for a more in depth look at protection circuits. He's really knowledgeable and I like to watch a lot of his videos so I recommend if you're into electrical engineering to check his uh, channel out. Here's a closer look at the Sony battery. The model number indicates it's 3.7 volts like many other 18650s and has a 2600 mAh capacity. Here it is with a AA and a AAA battery. As you can see, it's slightly bigger but it does provide a higher voltage. The AA and AAA would only provide 1.5 volts in comparison to the 3.7 volts by the lithium ion. Well that's pretty much it, if you liked the video give it a thumbs up, and you can also buy these batteries separately if you ever wanted to play around with them, I'll have a link in the description for that. Also feel free to follow me at these spots, Facebook and Twitter at Sako's Tech Spot, and Instagram at Sako Nexus. Thanks for watching.